Yesterday, everyone from Pete the Miner, the UTEP cheerleaders, citizens of La Paso, and the Bear, Don Haskins, attended a historic day in UTEP's history. One, two, three. Brent, you ready? The Disney Motion Pictures Glory Road depicts the Texas Western 1966 basketball team who will later that year become the first team to ever win a national basketball title with an all-African American starting lineup. 1966 basketball coach Don Haskins tells us how he feels about his work being immortalized on the silver screen. That's one of my grandsons. I said, uh, uh, how did you like the movie? And I said, be honest with me. And he said, uh, my grandkids call me Pampa, and he said, Pampa, I thought it was awesome. And I'm looking at his eyes, and I know he's not saying it just to make me happy. Along with the movie premiere Monday evening, yesterday morning, Wheaties unveiled their box featuring the 1966 NCAA champions. Two, one. With his famous shot made at the 1966 championship game, Willie Worsley told us how he feels about gracing the cover of the cereal box. This is something that the rest of my life, and I hope the rest of my grandkids' life, that they would cherish, you know, to be on the cover of a radio box and to have an individual picture. But that's, that's, that's it, because I'm not a, not a superstar. I was with a super team. You know, I'm not an all-American. I was an all-American team. And... Uh, it was something that I really can't say in words, but I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. After the unveiling, a pep rally was held in celebration. Here, producer Jerry Brockheimer, actor trained Don Haskins, Josh Lucas, and the other cast and crew members of the film were recognized as part of the UTEP family. Soon after the pep rally, the celebration was taken outside for the rename of Baltimore Street to Glory Road. College Hoops history has many great moments, but none greater than the one that occurred on March 19, 1966 in College Park, Maryland. Texas Western's achievement that night 40 years ago was truly colossal. The Miners had never played for a championship game before, in any sport. Their opponent heavily favored Kentucky had never lost a championship game, but what makes this moment really significant is Texas Western was the first team to ever play a championship game with an all-African starting lineup. From a Wheaties box to the renaming of Baltimore Street to Glory Road to even a motion picture made by Disney, Glory Road. The 1966 Texas Western basketball team has certainly made its spot in history. Daniel M., Night Vision News.